Oh man, last video until I take this up to my brother's house. Um, I think what I'm gonna do today is, you guys can see all the parts and shit laying around. Um, get all the coolant hairs ran. There's, get the shift linkage bolted up. And uh, once I am done with that, um, I'm gonna get it on the ground, get the front end back on it. Uh, plus we even put the hood on it and then maybe clean it up a little bit and get it ready to go to my brother's house. So instead of talking, let's just get right into it show you guys what's going on. All right, so I did a little time lapse, you know, to get shit off the ground. Um, got a lot more parts still that need to go on. But anyway, if you're wondering why the rad support isn't painted, um, it's because I, my, the guy that normally does all my painting has been really busy. You guys saw how fast it goes on and off. That is exactly why I wanted to bolt on. Um, a lot of people were like, oh, I don't know how I feel. I, I, it's the best thing I ever did to this car was put a bolt on. But anyway, um, what I'm going to do right now is post up the video so you guys can watch gonna put the top radiator hose on um i'm gonna the lowers over here i'm gonna put the lower on um this one routes up to here so i need to do that and hook all the coolant lines up um i'm not gonna put any coolant in it just because you don't really know what's wrong with it this thing hasn't ran in like two years i hope nothing but that would be in a perfect world um so yeah get the coolant lines on i'm also going to uh bolt up the side skirts not bolt them up they just slide on if you guys know hondas you know how easy they are everything in the front if you're wondering about like fitment and stuff is very very loose fitted um it's just so that i can trailer this up to my brother's house tomorrow to run the fuel lines um and then pretty much bring it back so there ain't much more i need to put air in the tires and stuff too all this stuff's minor but you guys have no idea how good it feels to see this car right at this stage it is right now i mean if you guys have ever had a project set this long i had a kid put it on the back burner my job kind of got in the way of things man it feels so good like this is two years of not really doing anything at all to this car it is so hard to believe it's been two years oh my god i'm just ranting at this point i'm just like literally taking it all in like two years and i'm finally I finally buckled down for technically a month and it's done. Man, it feels good. God, I don't, if you guys have projects out there, you kind of know how I'm feeling right now. Like it's not done. Like it could start up and something be wrong with the motor. I wouldn't even care at this point. I mean, I would, but oh my God, it feels so good to see the car. Jesus. I think I'm going to pay a very good detailer in my area to get this car done. So anyway. Everybody, why do you like these truck updates so much? My God, I put so much hard-ass work into the Civic. Nobody gives a shit. Post up a video of me driving around in the truck. Everybody loves it. It's crazy. Anyway, all right, guys. Let me get back into this before I get sidetracked here. Let me be show you guys hooking the coolant lines up and get moving. Well, the tires on this side were basically flat. Um, and I honestly forgot how to put the side skirt on for a second. Not that I forgot, I just had the wrong one. So it was like messing me up a little bit. This thing's sweet, by the way. If anybody ever needs something that they don't have like air, like I do not have an air compressor. Oh God, I'm about to push this bitch outside just to see what it looks like. All right, let me finish up the other side, put the side skirt on the other side. I might even throw the hood on. All right, guys, so we got the hatch up to my brother's house to use the pit. 
I uh, have almost everything hooked up that should be within the engine bay. Um, I still have bolts on the bottom side of the intake manifold that I just picked up today. So hopefully I'll have that done. And then there's still the knock sensor that I need to plug in. And that should be done. But this video is about done. This is the next day. Um, I have this up at my brother's house in the pit. So, yeah. This is pretty much it. This is pretty much where I'm going to... Um, Pretty much where i'm going to end this video what i'm going to do today is run the brake line or i'm sorry secure the brake lines from under the car um uh, i don't know if you can tell inside the car inside the car's a mess but there's the jb fuel line tuck uh or jb tune fuel line tuck sorry and get that in there but a lot of you guys that haven't seen the car completely out this is what it looks like it's filthy um super super dirty Hasn't been back seats out because I still have to do the fuel pump and stuff for the lines, but the car is finally seeing some different views. Man, that wheel is super cambered, by the way. I definitely need to get that. And then if you're wondering about the hardware on like the suspension and the engine bay, I plan on getting like all new stainless. So that's why that's not really tightened yet. The car's not driving, so I'm not too worried about that. All right, just rambling at this point, guys. I'm going to finish up the brake lines today, run the fuel lines. Uh, hopefully next video it's gonna be a startup video so all right guys as always give that video a like give that video a sub and uh subscribe we're over 1000 now thank you guys